naturalistas welcome back to my channel if you saw my last tutorial you know that I did a sleek high ponytail and I had it in for like over a week so this was the end result so we're about to change all that and make my hair look a lot better I'm gonna start by washing my hair thoroughly but before I go in to wash my hair I like to thoroughly rinse my hair because I had a lot of gel going on and I really want to just get that out before I go in with a shampoo so you can see me kind of washing out all of the gel and also scrubbing my scalp this is what my hair looks like directly after just rinsing all the gel and products out of my hair. Now I'm gonna go in with this black vanilla shampoo. This is my favorite shampoo. It feels like a moisturizing shampoo to me. I just use like a pump and a half of this shampoo. So I'm actually gonna do this twice. In the first round, I'm more so focused on making sure all of my hair shaft is cleansed like where I have the gel I want to get all that residue of the product out and I'm also going to ensure that my scalp is rubbed really really well I'm going to go in and rinse it out and then go in with another helping of the shampoo just to make sure that my hair is super squeaky clean and then of course you want to rinse out your shampoo thoroughly so this is what my hair is looking out like after shampooing it and now I'm going to go in with the black vanilla conditioner that's two three four five and then i think there's a six pump of conditioner in there i use a lot of conditioner as do most naturals i like to make sure i grab like clumps of my hair and like smooth it down my hair shaft from root to tip i also like to take this time to finger detangle um, my hair before I go in with a wide tooth comb and you always want to finger detangle and use a comb from ends to roots don't start at your roots start at your ends always after that I usually put on a shower cap but I didn't have one on hand so I'm just using a bag let it sit on your hair for at least 10 minutes and then rinse out the conditioner making sure to scrub all of the conditioner off of your scalp so it's not there before this next step I like to wring out some of the water I had and I'm going to go in with the kinky curly not today leave even conditioner I'm using a healthy portion of this you want to make sure your hair is saturated with this stuff okay so if that means that you have to go back and add more the more the merrier just do whatever it takes to make sure your hair is saturated with this conditioner because this style is gonna last you a long time so you want to make sure that there's a product in there that's gonna be healthy and nurturing for your hair then I like to just comb it through my hair to make sure it's really in there on every hair strand in this next step, I typically use sweet almond oil, but I didn't have it, so I'm just using this oil. You can use your favorite oil. And you just wanna massage this throughout all of your hair strands. This next step is really simple. Just gently wet your hair so that it's dripping just a little bit before we go in with this next product because you want your hair to be dripping wet before you add this, the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. If you're not familiar with this product, just know it has a kind of slimy, gel-like consistency to it. When my hair was super short, I used to just slather it on just like this and I could go, but now that it's a little bit longer, how I apply this to my hair is way different. So what I like to do is kind of section off the bottom section of my hair, get a little bit of the um, curling custard, and I add it just to the, a small section as you see me doing here, working it in from root to tip. It's really important that you get the roots fully saturated in this custard and work it down to the tips because if you don't, when you're done and your hair dries, your roots will be really frizzy and your ends will be really defined. So that process of really massaging this product in in small sections from root to tip is very vital. If your hair is thicker than mine and or kinkier than mine, you're going to want to use smaller sections when you're applying this um, kinky curling custard. I can't stress this enough, but use as much of this product as you need to fully saturate each and every strand of hair on your head. And also pay attention to the way in which I've applied this. The hairs in the front, I'm kind of laying to the front. The hairs on the side are laying to the side and this allows for even distribution. So this is what my hair looks like directly after applying all the product. And this next step is key. Watch the transformation. You're gonna wanna shake, shake, shake. Shake what your mama gave ya. And I'm gonna put this in slow-mo right here so you can see why. Each curl is being stretched and individually separated as I shake my hair so that when I'm done, I will have a bunch of beautiful defined ringlets that are juicy, bouncy, and full of life. I mean, guys look at this gorgeous 
And as you can see, every strand is super defined and happy. When I'm done, I like to just go in with a t-shirt and blot away any excess moisture that might be dripping. And then after this, I just let it air dry. So this is what it's looking like close up and I'll be back in a few hours to show you the final dried look. So this is my final mostly dry look. It is damp in a couple of places, but you guys can see how defined, shiny, and healthy my hair is looking. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. Perfect.